Hey everyone, Tom with Fresh Vintage here. We want to take a look at our Ranger go-karts. These are actually manufactured by Ranger, which is a division of Benpack. In this case, these are our RCD 1500s. Uh, these are actually car dollies. These are perfect for any kind of a mobilized vehicle or any car you just really want to move around on a flat surface. Uh, these are up to 1500 pounds per unit. Uh, there's actually a set of two in this box and we have another set over there. Uh, they'll actually go 15 inches up to 28 inch diameter with this unit. There's actually an RCD 1500EX that goes up to a 38 inch tire. So if you have like a larger off-road Jeep or something like that, you could actually use the EX uh, units and uh, move your, your uh, Jeep around the shop. But let's go ahead and we'll cut this open. And we'll take a look inside. These are great sized units. These actually ship via FedEx if I remember correctly. But I believe each box weighs about 80 pounds, 82 pounds. So relatively easy. I say that knowing I'm not the guy who actually lifted them out of the UPS truck, but nonetheless. And here they are. Like we said, we have a set of two in here. Have our owner's manual for the RCD 1500. Let's go ahead and get one of these pulled out here. Being this box weighed about 82 pounds, you could assume each one of these weigh approximately 40 pounds, give or take. So be a little careful when you lift them. Follow them here. Okay, so this is the actual unit. On this side we have locks. You definitely want to make sure these wheels could lock if needed so your car isn't freewheeling around your shop. Have a little safety hook here. And we have a pin here. Okay, so we have our actual uh, go-kart here. And this pin will actually set right here and this helps to keep as you want to put this under the tire the car is going to naturally want to try and spread because you're picking the tire up off the ground so this helps to prevent that um, just as a side note i was mentioning the weight of this and you can see i mean you're probably talking a half inch thick steel here so these things are built these are not uh cheap by any means these are high quality and exactly what you want when you're moving cars around day after day Nice heavy duty wheels, everything here, the fit and finish of this is very, very well done. Uh, so this actually, if you, it, this, like you might think of a car jack as like, as you pump the, the jack, it actually lifts up. But these kind of work backwards of what my mind originally thought of. And what I mean is your tire is going to be here. So you're gonna bring this in, you're gonna set this. And so you're gonna actually put the pin in. And then as you pump this up, as you pump this up, you're going to start seeing this pull in and you'll actually see this. You see how it's starting to pull in. That's actually getting smaller, the distance here. So it's going to naturally bring that tire up. And as you do that, these are going to roll. So your tire actually rotates. You can see how it's actually picking the tire up. And we're going to go actually to our, our car, our Mustang in the storage unit. And we're going to show you how to do that in action in person here. Okay, so quick side note, we're going to the storage unit now for the Mustang, but uh, these things are, they look big, but they're actually pretty small. This is the back of my 2000 Jeep Cherokee. And we got four of them in here, so let's head over to the storage unit. All right, so we're here in the storage unit with our 65 GT, and we're gonna go ahead and use the go-karts to lift the car up off the ground. And you can see we're working with tight quarters because this is real life. These actually will expand get around the tire just like that and then make sure you're careful not to scratch the rim but you can't see it but right behind you you do have a garage door so you have to keep in mind you need to make sure you're tight against the wheel so that these will clear that garage door but once you do this 
got it solid, tighten this, and then these things are so easy. Obviously it's meant for your foot, but I'm literally using my hand here, folks, and that's how easy these things work. There we go, tire is up off the ground. And looking inside here, we're clearing the rim. This is touching the rubber, but this is painted, so you're not gonna scratch your tire up or anything. There's that. And your pin hole is just cleared. Do a little bit more. There we go. And I'm just gonna gently let this go. Think of this as like a, a lift, like a latch. When you lower it down onto the a car lift, it's gonna slowly let some of this pressure out. It hits the pin and you're done. If you wanted to do this just to have it so this isn't sticking up, you could do this. That's it. Easy to pick up. And then just to show, I can move it with one finger. So definitely easily mobile. So these go karts, obviously, it's not a level surface. Still have a great yeah, ability bad. to get right onto the wheel here. Just go ahead and tighten this up. Get it down to the actual wheel. And then because we're on this angled surface, I'm going to preemptively lock the wheels. <laughs> One handed, no need for the feet. <laughs> Unless you want to use your feet. Put your safety pin in right here. Do this. Put that weight back down on the pin. And that's it. This side's ready to go. Yeah. Oh. We have the other side going right now. We're doing the same thing. And I think the concern right now is you can see the car's on an angle, so we want to make sure that the car doesn't slide. So we actually lock the wheels. Did you lock these? The back end of this car shouldn't move because those wheels are locked on those go-karts. This is Henry. <laughs> it's a fresh finished dog. He gets into more trouble than you can imagine, but we love him. <laughs> No, I, I was wondering about that. It's another great feature of these. And here you see your hole popping out. And you can see if you can come over close. Uh, you can see you're not touching the rim. You are touching the rubber, but you're not touching the rim. And your safety hole right here. So your pin pops out. Just back it off. It's almost like a car lift, like the docks that hold the weight of the car lift. Do that. Do this. You're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the back wheels on the go-karts and the back end of the Mustang should slide right over that way.
Mustang GTs at the uh, shop there. And we have our go-karts all here, stacked up nice and neat. We actually have a stand here, RCD 1500 stand. And they were nice enough to send this over to us. So we're actually gonna assemble this right now and we're gonna stack our go-karts for uh, storage. Let's get started. too much here. I'm going to go grab some uh, wrenches and sockets and whatnot. We'll be right back to put this together. Stay tuned. All right, so we have this started uh, together and it's a good thing I have all these half-inch drive sockets but no half-inch drive ratchet in my toolbox, tool bag here for the car. Luckily we have a three-quarter inch uh, wrench to go for these here. So that's three-quarters. And then these two bolts here and here are actually 11 16ths. So I do have my breaker bar. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten all this together right now. So we'll start with these three quarters. You'll notice these are actually tapered. These holes are tapered in here. I'm sorry, the squares, the, rec the, uh, the actual squares are tapered. And that's tight. Just don't put them together upside down. There's that. And that one's tight. So from there, you want to put this underneath. And you want to put the bolts directly through. Go. There's that. That's plenty tight enough. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the other side and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we have our go-karts here. We have our fully assembled stand. What we're gonna do is just make sure, give these things a quick once over to make sure before we put them on there that they're good to go. In this case, this pin is stuck and this pin needs to come out so it can stand on the stand. So I'm just gonna do this. Just for some housekeeping, I'm going to do this and tighten up the valve here to make sure I don't think they would leak, but I don't want to find out the hardware that they will leak. So, that's that. That's that. Set right, this right on here. There we go. All right, so here's our finished product. We have our go karts sitting on the actual stand. This thing moves really easy. Put this back here. Safekeeping. And there you have it. Set of four go karts. The same. Great little gift for anybody. Thanks for watching.